Hi everyone, Dr. Becky here with drbeckyfitness.com. We're going to talk about foods that cause inflammation. Inflammation is not a bad thing, it's part of the healing process, but when we take in certain foods, it causes a chronic inflammatory state in the body, and that's what breaks down tissues and causes diseases like heart disease, cancer, diabetes, uh, and discomfort like arthritis and joint pain. Sugar from processed foods and candies, as well as high fructose corn syrup that we get from soda, sports drinks, and energy drinks, create uh, inflammatory chemicals in the body, such as cytokines and AGEs, or advanced glycation end products. Fully hydrogenated oils found in snack foods, chips, margarines, peanut butters are altered fats. They have more omega-6 to them, which creates an imbalance between omega-3 fatty acids and omega-6 fatty acids, and that leads to inflammation. Trans fats, or partially hydrogenated oils, are found in fast foods, cookies, cakes, and crackers, and other packaged snack foods, and they'll create an inflammatory state as well. Milk. 30 to 50 million Americans are estimated to have trouble digesting milk sugar, which is lactose or lactose intolerance. But milk proteins may also be a problem for some people, which can make dairy foods uh, double whammy for inf inflammation. Fried foods also create that imbalance between omega-3 fatty acid and omega-6 fatty acid because many foods are fried in these altered oils that we talked about earlier. Saturated fats, when we take in too many, can create pro-inflammatory compounds in the body. They also lead to obesity, and enlarged fat cells can actually feed the chronic inflammatory responses in the body. Grain-fed meats. Grains fed to animals are high in the omega-6s, which throws off that imbalance as well. Your better option is to go with grass-fed or organic meats. Processed meats are high in those AGEs, those advanced glycation end products. Also, these meats are cooked at very high temperatures, which creates inflammatory chemicals. Alcohol in lower amounts, one to seven drinks a week, can actually lower inflammatory markers. However, more than seven drinks a week has been shown to create inflammation in the body. Refined carbohydrates spike the blood sugar and there is a relationship between high blood sugar and an inflammatory state in the body. Gluten is a type of protein found in wheat, barley, and rye. Uh, we'll see it in breads, baked goods, soups, pastas, cereals, sauces, and salad dressings. Many people have trouble processing this protein, and the body attacks the protein then as a foreign invader, which creates inflammation. Artificial sweeteners equal NutraSweet. They contain aspartame. A lot of people are sensitive to aspartame. This leads to joint pain, headaches, and skin rashes, among other things. MSGs, which are often used as a flavor enhancer in Chinese food, promote liver inflammation. Preservatives, artificial colors, and artificial flavors are viewed as foreign invaders by the body, not as food, and this creates inflammation. Ready-to-eat meals that we might find in the frozen foods department or boxed or canned contain many of the inflammatory foods on this list, including the harmful oils, preservatives, colors, and refined carbohydrates. And there's also personal food intolerances. Uh, any type of food that is not tolerated well by your body can create inflammation. Common food intolerances are eggs, corn, nuts, wheat, soy, and dairy. If you would like more details on any of these foods, go over to my website, drbeckyfitness.com slash inflammatoryfoods. Thanks for watching.